Lisette Thomason from Children's Corner and I want to show you a very pretty and professional way to finish the end of elastic when you put elastin through a casing such as the top of little pull-on pants. You would put a safety pin on each of the end of your elastic run it through the opening of your casing and then pull it out both ends so that you would have a piece of elastic two pieces like this. Now I'm going to show you this with an open toed embroidery foot so that you can see what I'm doing. I have put my machine on a wide zigzag one and a half length and about three and a half or so width and I am just going to put my needle down right at the top of that elastic and I'm just going to zigzag it together. Now, that was very simple. Cut my threads off. You can see that I have zigzagged the two ends of the elastic together. It's very flat there with no bulk and but you can see the tops have come open because I didn't bother to back stitch and over time this might come loose. So the way we want to finish it is to wrap a piece of ribbon around our elastic at that joining and overlap the ends of it turning one end under and then we can put it back under our machine and use that same zigzag and zigzag those ends together. I'll back stitch there. Now I'm just going to pivot. I'm going to put my machine back on straight stitch. You can see it's on straight stitch and I'm just going to stitch in a little box around the edges of my ribbon on that elastic. When I get to the end, I'll back stitch a couple of stitches and take it out. And you can see now that you have a very pretty and tidy finished the elastic end with no bulk. So this is perfectly flat. It won't hurt a child's back and it won't show in the garment as a lump there. So this is the way you need to finish your elastic.